Hi everyone, I am V and welcome to my lifestyle channel where you can find shop with me, home decor, DIYs, organization, cooking and much much more. Stay tuned and see what I have for you today. Today I am participating in a collaboration hosted by Kimberly Davis from Diva Designing on the Dime. Today's collaboration is a series all month long every Tuesday you upload a video of a different area in your home cleaning it's a spring cleaning collaboration today is the pantry and I am doing one of my pantries and this is how it is looking right now I really want to fix the overhead space and it's just wasted space so I want to add a shelf and organize some of the things. On the second shelf where you, where you see my kitchen aid mixer is what I use for my baking area. This is another area that I use to store groceries and these are some of my dry goods and canned food. This one here is for jams and jellies. The second one is for snacks and crackers. And the third one is for bottles. So I want to take the shelf out and measure a piece of wood for the top. These are the groceries that are in that space that I would like to organize. So I took the shelf out and now I am going to clean off the other shelf. This is the piece of wood that I cut for the area to put in. So now I am going to cut the piece of wood because the other one that's in the space already is a broad piece so I need to cut a shorter piece because the shelves are pretty long it's long and it's deep so it makes it sort of difficult to store things that's why I'm going to use the basket to put the food in the cabinet So I'm going to drill the wood in place. I'm going to readjust the wood because that area that I just drilled it in, it doesn't have a beam right there. So I'm going to readjust it eventually. I am so grateful that I know how to do these things because imagine in these times trying to find some type of handyman or carpentry person to help me. And my husband doesn't do that type of work. That's a different language I speak. <laughs> when come to him. So this is the other side and I am getting the bracket together to put it in. It's sort of difficult screwing it in place because I have to reach into the cabinet to do it with the other shelves in there. It makes it a bit difficult but I'm going to get it together. I can see that it is one sided so I will get my level and check it out and make it, the, make it level out the way that I want it to be. So moving the shelf, trying to adjust them, that's where the scratches are coming from. So now I'm going to go ahead and paint the piece out. So I'm going to start off with... 
with my paintbrush make sure that I get it real close in the creases that you cannot see the raw wood and this is the first coat that I'm going to give to the piece and I'm using a durable paint now I'm using my fan so it could dry the area pretty fast and now I'm going to go in with the roller brush to give it a very smooth cohesive finish. The paint look off white but it's actually a white white. So this is another area that I want to get together. Some of the pieces down there does not belong. So me making the shelf for the wasted space then I have another area that I could put a few things in. This is some shelf liner that I want to use in that area. The plug that I point out to you that is the plug for KitchenAid. This is a double sided tape that I'm going to use to put the liner down. Here are some canisters that I want to use in the space. I bought them a few months ago sometime last year and this is one here is six pieces that's from Ross. The others are from Home Goods, and it was $24.99 this one here was also from I think from Marshalls for $7.99 I purchased a set of these here from a bunch of these here from the Dollar Tree and I am using my dry spice and big spice in there this is how it looks empty and washed up this is how it is looking. I keep my cinnamon bark in here, um, bay leaf in the other one, and this one is real cocoa. Um, it's a hundred percent cocoa from the cocoa plant in my country, and we use that for baking or making like hot cocoa and chocolate tea. We call it cocoa tea. And this is, I can't remember the name of this one. Mobby Bark. That's what the name of that one is. I also want to use this can, this can organizer. And I paid $4 for it from the thrift store. So at the Dollar Tree, I purchased quite a bit of these shoe, it look, I think they call them shoe containers, but I'm using it for storage in my pantry. And these are some plastic bottles that they have at the Dollar Tree I also use. And they come in different sizes with the ones in the white top. And it works perfectly for the space, especially where you cannot go to the big box to the big stores right now. The Dollar Tree is working out fine for me because it is open. So this is something that I use when it come to tips and tricks. I get the Ziploc bags from the Dollar Tree. Um, that's the one for the sandwich bags or snack bags. And I use my sealer cut and cut out like a small piece of the cereal box I don't make labels I usually just cut the piece out of the box and put it inside of the plastic and cut cut seal the plastic area out and put my 
cardboard piece in there so it's not touching the food and I do that for all of them and make them make the bag much smaller and that's how it would look once it's sealed and I put it inside of my dry goods and I also cut out the back to the recipes and the nutrition fact and put it in there so in case whoever is using it wants to take a look or for me to refer back to and I purchased this here like I said from the Dollar Tree I paid 50 cents for it because the box was a bit damaged so I got a few of them so this is how the pantry look closed and this is what it looks like organized the best way that I could the extra shelf is working out so well for me because I'm able to stack another row of things and some of the bins come from Walmart the ones in the middle and the bottom one came from the Dollar Tree uh, my kitchen aid is nestled in the back there this is my hand blenders my chip clip my cheese grater and the liner I could easily wipe and it, it afford the stuff to slide back and forth easily also without scratching the shelf and everything is just organized perfectly that is in hands reach so now I will move these containers to the side and show you what I have nestling my tops to the containers because they could be a bit unruly I found this at a thrift store don't know the proper use for it but I just thought that it will work perfectly in my space and everything is lined up properly and it's in hands reach the cabinet is pretty tall this the my kitchen aid has a electrical outlet right in the back of it so I could keep everything nestled together and guys that's the only way I could have that many things in the home if I cannot see it then it works for me if I could store it away and these are the other containers that the other pieces are in um, these little shovels here I purchased it from the Dollar Tree and once I open the pack to use it um, wash them out and I will stick it inside of the container these bins were for, from Walmart and I even have extra space organizing the cabinet it's actually a pantry and right here is all my papers wax papers sandwich bags and for some of the foil paper and here is the excess of things and everything is just in its place guys thank you so i would like to thank kimberly david for hosting this collaboration and guys after you finish watching my video please go watch the other participants please like share subscribe hit the notification that when i upload videos you'll be the first to be notified